Hello Libra, it's Milady from Milady's Way Terry, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the weekend of, I mean for weekly reading for the week of July 17th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Um, I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. And if you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can make something happen. Other than that, thank you guys and let's get this show on the road. What's going on for the Libra, Libra, Libra? Libra, July 17th through 24th, 2017. Libra, July 17th through 24th, 2017. Anybody else miss their dogs? My dogs are gone for the weekend. And I feel so sad and alone. Sad and lonely. <laughs> Alright. Let's go back to the Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Ooh, manipulation. So there's some manipulation going on here. Let's see what it's going on about. Mm. Ooh. Okay. So... General reading, but I feel like you are manipulating somebody and it's telling you to stop. Stop manipulating, Libra. Oh, so this sounds like the uh, Pisces reading already. So somebody's manipulating somebody for sex. Somebody trying to get somebody to have sex with them and they're trying to manipulate them to do it. Okay, so this is, it's starting to piss you off. Everybody's starting to get pissed off in this situation. It's bringing you into a nasty, mad, mean, evil place. Okay, yeah, you want this person to open your heart to you. And by opening your heart, that means they have sex to you. This is your logic. And they're not doing this, so you feel like they're not opening their heart. And you like, pissed off. Like, why? Or vice versa. General reading. Oh, so somebody's going to let go because of this. So, either y'all already broke up or y'all getting ready to break up. But it's all because of... Sex. I mean, I understand it's a lot of stuff. Yep, somebody definitely broke up or is about to. Yeah, it's a secret coming out. Yeah, somebody gonna find out about the manipulation. But sex is a very important but dangerous thing. And I understand why you're waiting. And then I understand why the other person is pushing for it. Because it is a form of... um. It's a connection, it's a bond between people, but it's so much stuff out right now, it's just scary. It's scary, but it seems like both parties are manipulating since it's the um, overall card for whatever reason. But, you know, when it, with this kind of stuff, you don't play with it because protection don't work all the time. And, you know, you can get all kinds of diseases and stuff. You don't want that. So some of you guys might be dealing with a Leo, too. Or some of you guys just aren't strong enough to wait for this person. Like, you're used to getting it all the time. And now you ain't getting it. Sorry, the Six of Coins reverse came up. And that's like, you're not getting what you want. But you're giving, you know, what they want. Okay. Oh, okay. So for some of you, this will happen. This is the victory card. Mm. Ooh. Some of you just might be just getting it in your dreams. That's it. Alright. So we're going to read the Ace of Swords. Ace, 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 Ace of Swords. It says, you're able to move in many situations with great power. Trust your own abilities. It is time for you to win. Okay. Then we have the Knights. I don't know why movie phrases keep popping up in my head. The night just kept hitting me. You probably don't know what that is. Y'all don't know what that is. Too much coffee, that's what that is. Alright, so here we have the... 
Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. All right. The Knight of Swords says, uh, people may fight over some issues. The fight will occur quickly. The real issue is lost. Sometimes indicates a young man who may help in the situation. So I feel like, yeah, somebody is sexually frustrated and y'all end up arguing over some stuff they don't have nothing to do about it. Maybe it got to do with sleep or something like that. But the real issue is somebody mad because they can't have sex. So now we have the Nine of Swords upright and it says dreams, nightmares, difficulty sleeping may be present. B, no, a very stressful time is indicated. A card of many mendings, depending on surrounding cards. It is represents miscarriage, desperation, broken promises, deep mental depression. So this all could come from, you know, you feeling like somebody don't want you. They won't open your house. It's just basically you feel like whatever you were grown to feel. Like you feel like people love each other, they touch each other. So it's to continue to a, a place of um sadness. And then this King of Cups right here makes me feel like again that it got something to do with uh a Pisces. But this says a person of great education with many interesting no sorry, it's like Interest and abilities. I don't have my glasses and it's split up. Indicates you receive good advice and generosity from someone soon. So, I don't know if this is that person. But, I don't know. Somebody's about to give it up. Basically, is what that's saying to me. So, for some of you, you're about to get the cookie. And that's it. Other than that... That's all I have. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a wonderful week.